life. There, there was a question that was asked, uh, and it made me think. It said, the guy said, uh, when do when do you actually start to live? When do people actually start to live their life and stop being scared? And he said, when people face death. And I was like, that 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 makes sense, cause you you like, well, you ain't got nothing to lose now. Your back's against the wall. It's like, well, I'm about to die, so I might as well go hard in the paint. Another thing that I also thought too is like when you face some some adversity, something that's like real tough in your life, and it's like a life changing experience, and it's something that's real serious to happen to you in your life. That's when that's when I feel like people are not afraid anymore because they've already been hurt. So like if you've already been hurt really bad by something or somebody, you're gonna you're not gonna be scared no more because you've already experienced that pain. You already know what it feels like. So how how can somebody get out of that without experience and all that? And I feel like you just have to you just have to want it. You just have to when you say you're sick and tired or whatever it is, you have to just want to go do it. You got to be able to break the rules, you know, not break the law. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like, you know, break the rules of of what's going on in life. You know, you got to you got to be able to think outside the box and you got to be able to do some stuff that people are not willing to do. That's why the people that got all the money and got all the bread, they willing to do what we we not doing right now. Um, so a few things that we have to do that, you know, to build confidence in ourselves is you have to actively seek. And if you actively seek anything, you're going to get it. And I don't care what it is. If you keep constantly trying to seek whatever it is you're trying to find, you're going to find it. And you might even find it on accident, you know, and, and it do take luck sometimes. We do need luck, but I feel like you make yourself more lucky by actively seeking and actively trying to get whatever you're trying to get. Uh, this is only for people that's in competition. I feel like when they say, or oh, when you're not working, somebody else is working harder. I mean, that is true, but I feel like it's not about that when it's about just you want to be successful. You just have to worry about you because it's about you. It's not about what the other person is doing. It's not about how hard they're working. You just work as hard as you can and you do what you can with what you have and and you will be happy with what you have not about what what they have you know so it's it's about you it's not about them working hard or outworking you if you're not in competition you know if you just want to be successful don't don't say oh somebody else is being more successful than me right now but if you you're judging your success on somebody else's success so just just do your own thing. Don't worry about what, what the other people got, what they doing. Just do what you need to do. And and let's list one last thing before I go. Uh when does your life change? This was a good question too. When does it change? And people say, Oh, it'll change when I do this, when I do that, when this, when that. But guess what though? Life is full of surprises and life will change like that. And so if life can change in an instant, you can change in an instant. And I'm not saying that you can change who you are in an instant, but you can change the way you think instantly. You can start thinking positively and start thinking and, and get those negative thoughts out instantly.